What's up, guys? Welcome back to another film session breakdown presented to you by the Birdsaw Law from the official injury lawyers of Pro Pals Talk. I thought the Pelicans got one of their biggest wins of the year last night against the Timberwolves on a back-to-back. The Timberwolves were 14-1. and At home this year, the Pelicans took it to them, but it all started with Brandon Ingram. My, I don't remember Brandon Ingram ever taking a charge, but this is one of the few charges he's taken in a Pelicans uniform, and it shows me that this dude is fully bought in. Two-man game from Conley and Gobert. Conley refuses the screen because CJ ices it, so he makes the pocket pass to Gobert. Instead of Brandon jumping with Gobert and trying to block his shot, what does he do? Takes it right in the chest and a charge. Why is this such a big play? We're just like, oh, it's just a charge, the first quarter. No, it's not. Because Gobert's now got two fouls. So now the Timberwolves have to then take in Nas Reed. They now have to adjust their game plan because simply Brandon Ingram sacrifices his body for his, for his team, creates a charge, creates an offensive foul for Rudy Gobert. Gobert is now on the bench, and the Pelicans now have the advantage here. I thought this play right here absolutely set the tone, and it shows me that Brandon Ingram's fully bought in defensively because here late or midway through the third, Gobert and Cat in a two-man game. This is really hard to stop especially with how fast Cat reacted to a pass from Ann Edwards. Gobert screens, and usually this is going to result in an alley-oop dunk. Instead, look at Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram guarding Conley. This is quick action. Right here, B.I. recognizes it. So instead of kind of just like moseying away to the rim, he sprints, uses his length, deflects it, Pelicans going the other way. Those type of plays right there is what is making a difference for the Pelicans and Brandon Ingram because he's bringing it defensively. He's guarding the best player every single night. He's getting blocks. He's rebounding. He's now taking charges. Like, this is the Brandon Ingram we've been wanting, and I'm now seeing it every night. Two-man game. Zion and Brandon. You know I love this set. Of course, I'm going to bring this in. Here we go at the screen. We get two on the ball. Watch Zion. Roll into the rim. Perfect pass. Now, this is this is everything. Okay. Zion has options now. He's got momentum going to the rim. Jose Alvarado, right corner, 40% three-point shooter's option. Zion Williamson, straight line drive, left-handed layup is an option. If Herb Jones really wanted to, he could just dive. That's another option. Instead, he's trying to screen for CJ, who's your fourth option on the left-hand side. So as you see, this one little set of Zion Williamson sprinting up the screen creates so many different options for the Pelicans. And what happens? Not just a layup. But other than that, if it's not a layup, it could be a Herb Jones slot. It could be a Herb Jones dive layup. It could be a Jose Alvarado three, which happens. It could be a CJ McCollum three, which happens. Like this is the type of stuff the Pelicans need to be running all the time because it's unstoppable. And it puts your two best players in prime position and make plays for for their team. Why am I going to show you this play? Because it sets up Brandon Ingram's three. So JV sets a good screen here. Brandon Ingram comes off. Reads go bare. That's 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 his bread and butter, right? That's Brandon Ingram. He's elite at this. He's one of the best in the league at doing this. He realizes Gobert's sinking, just steps right into it. That's a layup. It's a layup for Brandon Ingram. Okay, cool. We've seen him do that a million times. This is the difference in Brandon Ingram right now. Gets the screen from Herb. Just like Gobert did, Cat's sinking. Usually what you would see is Brandon take a couple more dribbles, get right here, shoot a contested 15-footer, make it, miss it, whatever it may be. It's a hard shot. Instead, he notices Cat is backpedaling. He notices the separation in McDaniels because Herb Jones does a good job screening. What does he do? Pulls up right, left, in rhythm, nails it. That is the difference in Brandon Ingram. That's what we want to see. Varying his actions, a three-level scorer, the dude can shoot. Keep shooting this because it is wide open. I'm going to show you again in the next segment or the next clip what then sets up Herb Jones for a layup. Because now you're like, shit, Brandon's scoring at the rim. He's scoring the mid-range. He's shooting threes. Well, how do you guard him? Well, we now got to get the ball out of his hands. All right, cool. Let's send to it, Brandon. Well, I'm a spin move. I'm a knife in my way in. I'm going to split you. And then I'm going to make a no look to Najee. And what I love about this pass is he splits him. But right here, he's holding Ant. He's holding Ant Edwards right here. Because he knows he's got corner. But he also knows his Najee Marshall's in a prime position to score. So instead of just giving up to corner, he holds Ant. Ant takes a couple steps back. What happens? Now look at the lane for Najee Marshall. So now Najee Marshall is in a prime opportunity to score. Gives it up to Najee. One dribble. Five foot floater. And this is what sets it up. Okay. Brandon's driven. He's got an assist. Brandon's driven to the rim. 
He's getting hit middies. He's hitting threes. As as a head coach like Finch, he's like, well, shit, man. Let's get the ball out of his hands. All right, cool. Let's send two. All right, we got two at him now. Pocket pass. Now we got Herb Jones with momentum, proper spacing, playing four on three. Herb Jones, like Nas reads on the play here. You got one, two, three, four versus one, two, three. Herb Jones, one dribble. That's just awful defense from Carl Anthony Towns. Just absolutely atrocious. But when Herb Jones, Zion Williamson, Larry Nance are going downhill and you're playing advantages, basketball becomes very easy because now if – Herb Jones weren't to lay this up. You got option one, CJ here, ready to shoot. You got option two, which is going to happen later in this game with Larry Nance could be a dunk. You got option three, which happens later in the game and Dyson Dance could hit a corner three. Not to mention, imagine this if this is Trey Murphy. What the hell are you going to do now? Because now you got options with, with guys going downhill and momentum and making plays. This is what we've been wanting to see throughout the, throughout the entire year. Brandon Ingram has been absolutely fantastic. Let's talk about Zion Williamson being decisive, attacking with force, sizing up Gobert, going right to left. What I love about Zion, though, is that he's not hes not like thinking. He's just catching like, all right, I'm going straight to the rim. Like, either you stop me or you don't. And here's the best part. <laughs> Look at Larry Nance. Like, Larry Nance is wide open. But either way, doesn't give it up. That's fine. One dribble, and I love that from Larry. Larry's such a smart player, man. He knows, like, all right, I'm not getting the ball, so what can I do? Well, let me seal Cat so that I know that if Zion does come to the left-hand side, look, Cat can't get there. Ducks right under Gobert, left-handed layup. Just just great team ball here. Zion Williams again, sizing up Nas Reed. Poor Nas Reed. He got just destroyed last night from Zion. Between the legs, crossover. I like this little dip move that Zion's been using. He's dipping, getting a little bit lower than the defender, shielding him off, and then he's finishing with the left hand on the left hand side or right hand side. But also, you got options. What? Wow, McLaughlin's coming in doubling. Like, this dude's shooting forty percent on the year from three. No one's within fifteen feet. If Kyle Anderson were to come over, you got Najee Marshall ready to shoot. You got Herb Jones ready to shoot. And if Larry Nance were to duck in, look at once again Larry Nance sealing off. If we miss it. Watch Larry Nance. He Larry Nance is ready to come over in. The way the Pelicans are spacing around Brandon Zion is exactly what we've been asking for. And it's resulting in easy buckets. Okay, once again, I talked about, you know, the spacing and going downhill. Well, now you got Jose hitting shots. Zion collapsing the defense. He's got multiple options again. I don't know what Larry's doing here. I don't like the spacing here. I'd probably rather him in the corner. But either way. He, that would be an option one. You got Dyson Daniels sitting wide open under the rim two. And then you got McLaughlin is in no man's land. He's like, well, should I guard Dyson? Should I guard Jose? Like, who do I guard? Zion looking at Dyson, throwing to Jose. I mean, it's a wide open. In the NBA, it's a wide open three. Jose steps right into it. Okay, when I, the, the Timberwolves kept pressuring Zion last night, which I didn't understand because he would just get around him and collapse the defense. So this happens again. Kyle Anderson, spin move. This is the last clip I'll show y'all. And I want to show you right here. When the opponents have to guard Zion Williamson five on one, usually it's going to end up in a layup or a dunk. But look at, like, let's just let's just go around. Okay, Najee Marshall. There's no one within 20 feet of Najee Marshall. There's no one within 10 feet of Larry Nance. There's about seven feet of separation on Herb Jones. And then McLaughlin's like, ah, screw Jose. Like, look at all of these options. Like, it, It's literally impossible to pass it to someone and not get a productive shot here. Because he could have hit Herb or Larry here. He hits Larry. And it's a dunk. When you give Zion Williamson, Brandon Ingram space to operate with momentum going downhill, this team is impossible to guard. I will say it again. When you get Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson in space with momentum going downhill, this team is impossible to guard because this is what will happen night in and night out. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. But when Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson are playing at this level, this team is an absolute problem in the Western Conference. See y'all later.